Africa's traditional arts are making room for the contemporary, and East Africa is no exception. Wow, it's blossomed. Like, I'm just thinking from a perspective of five years ago to what it is now, it's exploding. The region's emerging talent was on display at the East Africa Art Biennale held in Nairobi. The traveling Tanzania-based show includes works from Europe and greater Africa, but focuses on promoting East African artists. From the history of East Africans, uh, that uniqueness, that unique thing, need to be seen by the world. So we thought uh, the East African artists, although most of them do not have, uh, we, we call these folk artists, most of them do not have uh, a, a lot of form education, they use talent, but that talent makes them unique. At Biennale to artists. Joy Moringa began just a few years ago displaying her talent as a makeup and lip artist. It's different. I love lips. It's ignored. Most people don't want to talk about lips normally. And I thought it was the best canvas for me. Other artists send social and political messages that resonate globally and with visitors. There's an image of Barack Obama and he's holding a woman and I see the woman as Mother Africa. It's called, like I believe, Welcoming Home. And for me, Obama is home, but America no longer feels like home as the president that we have now. Kenyan artist Ken Othiamo Mom, a visitor to the exhibit, says East African art is taking baby steps onto the world stage. Like London, like the African Art Fair in London, which had like few Kenyan arts. Kenyan artists and few artists from Africa, which was more interesting because actually everyone is now seeing like there's actually emerging talent in art in Kenya and in South Africa as a whole. East Africa's contemporary art is indeed emerging step by step. Daniel Sheriff, VOA News, Nairobi.